Hi Pisces, this is going to be a general love reading for the month of September 2020 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. Could be for yourself, someone else that you're cross-watching for. Either way, the roles can be reversed. And this is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. So you can watch your other signs or you can get a personal reading if you want. So let's see, what's going on with Pisces for September 2020? We have, oh, settling. Mask. And contemplation. All right, so somebody is settling in a situation where they're not really being themselves, they're wearing a mask, um, possibly they have to pretend like they're happy, or they're just, it's like they have, they're presenting a false identity here, and actually they're not happy, all right? And at this point, they are contemplating about it, I feel like they are seeing that, and just really bringing that into their awareness to see what they're going to do about it. All right, so let's get more details and see. or both. We'll see what comes through. Alright, just one more. Alright. So, in the present, we have hmm, the Nine of Swords. Foresight, I always get another one with that. We have the Six of Swords and the King of Wands. We also have the Queen of Pentacles, the Tower, and the King of Swords. Hmm. So somebody is really stressed here and somebody is really going through a Tower moment here because they can see themselves having to move away from some sort of a situation very likely the one that they are settling in, all right? Um, I do see them being um, confident, though, that they are going to do it but, it, but they're also having a lot of stress at the same time. Um, they are being decisive here, though. That's They're contemplating, but their contemplation is about being decisive, knowing that they have to be in that energy in order to do this. Um, let's see what's coming up in the near future. We have the Knight of Swords the Eight of Pentacles, and Strength. Okay, good. So, there is hope here. All right, so this could be you or it could be your person, okay? Just take it as it makes sense for you. And if it doesn't, if it's not your situation, then, like I said, you can watch one of your other signs or just a different video. They can't resonate every time, all right? Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords here, this stress, this anxiety. The Seven of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. Well, I'll be damned, isn't that a lot of swords? <laughs> A lot of thinking here, a contemplation, and then all these swords starting off the reading. That is like you can't get more into thinking than this person is doing at the moment. All right, um, definitely thinking about again having having clarity over what is going on here and wanting to move away from a situation in order to follow their truth so this person is is realizing that they're wearing a mask okay whoever this is they know it um however it is causing them a lot of stress because you know well oftentimes wearing a mask um can become that mask can become a part of your ego um and ego doesn't like to remove masks all right and i feel like this is what is causing this person a lot of stress so let's clarify the six of swords The 
because they're seeing themselves moving away here. More swords. Okay, the Knight of Swords, the Chariot, wow, and the King of Swords. Guys, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Seriously, um, the first six, seven, eight cards of the reading are all swords and a major arcana, which is all about movement, all right? So, and that's clarifying another movement card. And we also have the Knight of Swords, which can also suggest movement. There's a lot of thinking about movement here, like moving, mo like actual moving, I feel. Moving away from this, moving to a different um, location, possibly. So it could definitely be, oh gosh, okay, it could be a another commitment, another relationship, but it doesn't have to be, okay? It could be any type of a situation that would require them to just really move away from that situation. And it could even be an addiction, all right? It doesn't have to necessarily be that they're moving to a different location, although I am getting that feel here um, for a lot of you, all right? And I do feel like this person is, again, with the King of Swords showing up again, it's them like really wanting this really, really bad knowing that they just have to kind of turn that switch. It's kind of like all or nothing. Like I either do it or I don't. There is no in-betweens here. Let's clarify the you know wands. The High Priestess, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Like seriously, this deck is gonna run out of swords. <laughs> Again, we only have swords popping up with a major arcana. We don't even have another another suit here in the in the first row other than this king of wands. But clarifying, it's all swords. Um, this person, yeah, they know they're. I, I feel like they're gaining this power, okay, over the situation where they really want to follow their intuition on this one. But doing so would require for them to really um, put. A painful ending to something that is keeping them trapped okay plain and simple and yeah I know I'm not being I might not be too specific here because um, I also got a comment about that but seriously guys there's you know there's a lot of Pisces out there it can't it's not a personal it's not a personal reading okay and I know most of you understand that but I felt the need to just kind of say it um, it's gonna be a different situation for everybody point is someone here is knowing that they need to make a just one-off decision to move away from a situation that is keeping them trapped however they feel like it's going to be painful this ending it's not going to be easy let's clarify the queen of pentacles The Three of Swords, the Two of Cups, sorry, that is the Lovers, it's not the Two of Cups, um, and the Two of Wands. I kind of feel like this might be you working on yourself here. Um, I feel like whatever the situation is here, because this person was not making this decision to move away from whatever they are being tied to, I feel like that broke your heart, basically, and I feel like you might be in the process of, of healing that and just really trying to focus on you, um, trying to figure out what is it that is best for you because you don't know what's going to happen with this person. And I see, but I see you, like, not, not, you haven't really put an end to it. Like, I don't feel like it's completely out of your system. I feel like there's that, there's that bit of you here where, you know, you're still kind of holding on. You see that his, his hand is tied with a rope to this one. So it's like you, you still kind of have that connection here, at least on an energetic level with this person because you're still waiting, I feel. You're still kind of waiting to see which way this is gonna go, but it's like at the same time as you do that, you're still trying to work on yourself here. 
Um, but I do see you being very hurt from this person because you do love them a lot and I do feel that they... I feel like they love you too. Alright, um, let me just say that. Okay. And as I said that, I drop all the cards and the Fool kind of popped up here, which is all about taking that risk. Okay? So let's clarify the tower. The Knight of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. I, I feel like this is more of your person rather than you. This is somebody really going through a tower here concerning the fact, again, that they need to move. Knight of Wands, this is about moving. Alright, um, and it, I feel like it just keeps coming through here. Um, and then the Six of Wands, right? Having victory over this move, like, really, this tower is pushing them in that direction in that direction of victory, of being able to gain a sense of control here. And I feel like that would be also in the same sense moving towards you at the same time. Um, let's clarify the King of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so they're, I feel like they're doing it. I mean, it's, it's hard. Apparently, um, there's a lot of overthinking involved. Um, a lot of overthinking. It's it's very difficult for them to take off this mask, but I do see them in the process of making that decision, or at least really wanting to make that decision to turn that wheel and release that burden of whatever it is that is keeping them trapped here. Okay, so I do see them actually making a change. I feel like they are making a shift, even though they are overthinking it just a little bit. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords in your near future here which again we had the knight of swords before right so again a lot of movement um and i could have sworn this a lot of movement came up in another reading as well um let's say the three of wands the ten of cups and the knight of pentacles This is a lot of thinking also about the future, all right? This, um, again, it's this is your person here, all right? And I feel like coming up in the near future is them thinking a lot about your future, <laughs> all right? And actually moving, I, I feel like they're going to stable out because I feel like they're really in this Nine of Swords energy at the moment and having that tower. So they're really going through a crisis here. I feel like it might also be uh, maybe a type of an identity crisis with that mask being here. But... Um, Coming up in the near future, I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a settling down in energies. I feel like they're going to move from that Knight of Knight of Swords and Nine of Swords energy into the Knight of Pentacles where they can, you know, kind of level out. And because they'll be more level-headed as well, um, they will be able to move forward in a more um, efficient type of way towards their, towards their true happiness, okay? Um, but I do feel like it, it, is, it is taking them a little bit of time. Um, they're wanting to make this decision real quick like they know that it has to be like I said just a one-off here but I feel like even when they do make that decision like it's it's going to it might take a little bit of time for this um, whole procedure to kind of close out you know for it to um, oh, what's the word I'm sorry, you guys. My English is bad. I've been living in Greece for like 24 years now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, let's move on. You guys know what I'm trying to say. All right, Eight of Pentacles here. Half the deck. <laughs> let's see. The King of Wands. Okay, so they are making this effort, all right, in the near future. I, it's, it's pretty much the same message, all right? That's why I dropped half the deck, because we don't need to clarify anymore. This is them, as I said, leveling out and being able to move forward in a more um, sufficient way, or efficient way. And so they are able to actually work towards then gaining the strength, the courage, to make whatever this decision is. 
And look at that. What a beautiful way to close out this reading, all right? Your last combination here in the near future is strength clarified by the magician and judgment. So this is them actually being able to manifest the strength that they need. This is them actually being able to um, make things happen and begin that journey of closing out whatever it is that needs to be closed out here. All right, moving away from that, from whatever situation they need to move away from, all right? And just, it's, it's going to come with, I feel like it's going to come with pain, okay? The way I'm seeing this judgment card here. Um, because they're going to have to really, really dig deep and discover certain things about themselves um, in order to do this that they might not, that they might not necessarily like. Um, and that's going to take a lot of courage, but I do see them manifesting that and being able to do it. All right, so let's get your... Final message here, and then we will also close it out with an oracle card. And if this was resonating with you, please do give me a like, subscribe, leave a comment, share, all that good stuff. Helps me out a lot because YouTube has been acting a bit weird lately. <laughs> I love that the fool came back out. Remember how it jumped out um, at some random point in the reading? I was wondering if it was going to come back out, and it did. And what did it come out with? The Ten of Swords, the Emperor, and of course the Fool. Okay, so this is like a summary of the reading, um, as it was in, a, in another reading. And it is them actually going, follow. I feel following through with this ending, like it's going to be painful, yes. Um, but look at that, they are going to be the emperor. They're going to have control over that and they're going to be able to overcome it and then take take a risk. Like this is them beginning a new journey because of that ending here, okay? Very likely to be a um, third party situation. Doesn't have to be, but it does feel like for a lot of you it could be. All right, so let's see. So this is a general message, this doesn't necessarily mean that it is in the near future, okay? Near future was up until this strength, magician, and judgment. Right. So let's see. Final message for Pisces. We have why. Let me get one more. This came up for Scorpio too, I think. Truth be told and clean it up. That comes out a lot. So there's a lot of cleaning up going on um, in general, I feel, in, overall in the collective. All right, so why truth be told and clean it up? Okay, there's a lot of cleaning up, and I feel like the divine is stepping in to really help people to clean up their lives at this point. And you know, some are going to do it, some are listening to their intuition and following that guidance. Some might not be, or they just might be delayed a little bit, but it is happening, especially in this situation, if it was resonating for you. The the Y card, it's so interesting because I'm pretty sure it was in Scorpio, but these two came out together in another reading here, and I think it was Scorpio. Um, so very interesting. The truth is going to come out. This person is going to be following their truth, all right? We have truth be told as well as judgment, which I feel are very similar energies here. So everything seems to be um, on the right track here. Difficult, challenging for sure, but on the right track. Alright guys, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Much love.